Namaste. This is David Hawthorne at astroview.com. Today is the 7th of February, 2018. The following is the chart for the time when SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket successfully completed its long awaited maiden flight. So what we see, the reason that I think this worked, in spite of some uh, challenges in the chart itself, and it was Rahu main period in a K2 sub-period, which typically is not ideal. But I think the saving grace is this. This rising sign degree is not an arbitrary number. This is very specific to an exact time. And 0 to 30 is possible. In this case, it's 24 degrees, almost 25 degrees. Now, this is a strong rising sign as opposed to the first 5 degrees or the last 5 degrees. But this is known as most effective point of every house. And any planet close to the most effective point has a positive impact if it's a favorable planet. And it causes adverse effects if it's a functional malefic planet. So I think what happens here is that for Gemini, the most important planet is the Sun. The sun is the king of the planetary cabinet. And it rules the third house for Gemini, which is the house of self-initiative, self-efforts. So Sun is placed in a movable sign, and Sun is placed in the eighth house, which is research. And Sun, if you round that off, is 24 degrees. It's on the most effective point. So its seventh aspect blesses the house of wealth, and status and continuation of family life. So this is quite helpful. Now it's a Rahu main period, K2 sub period, but both of these planets are in houses that are under the positive influence of the royal sun. And sun also supports Rahu and K2 to, to some extent. It's within five degrees of them. So this turns this into a positive element. We can also say that Jupiter, ruling partnerships and joint ventures, the seventh house, is also close to the rising sign degree. So it's blessing the house of investments ruled by the royal, uh, and was with the royal moon. Moon ruling the house of wealth and status. So moon's house gets under the positive influence of the sun. And moon is in the house under the positive influence of Jupiter. And Jupiter's fifth, seventh, and ninth aspects are also quite favorable. It brings the element of luck and good fortune connected with partnerships and joint ventures. So Jupiter aspects the ninth house and that supports Venus ruling the fifth house of investments and creative projects. Jupiter's seventh aspect is on the 11th house of gains and income and friendships. And Jupiter's ninth aspect is in the first house. It protects the chart. Jupiter's seventh aspect also improves the 11th house, which is ruled by Mars, so it gives some support to Mars.
and Mercury ruling property and vehicles. It's in the house of research. And it's in a house under the favorable influence of the royal sun. So I think that sun alone is very powerful. And, and they were, I think, shooting the rocket toward the sun, launching the spacecraft toward the sun. So that's kind of an interesting concept as well. So it is advisable to take into consideration a functional benefic planet close to the rising sign degree. So Sun and Jupiter, which are very powerful planets, are supporting the rising sign degree in the various houses they occupy and aspect. 